Now, the name of this catalyst might be familiar if you're a fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. With me now, I have Marco. Marco, explain to me the name of this catalyst and uh, just exactly what it does. Yeah, the name of the catalyst is Kynet, and actually it does something completely opposite to what uh, the name suggests, because it's focused on uh, uh, delivering a service uh, based on telcos for, uh, to support uh, E-Health uh, business verticals. So we took the idea originally from the epidemic of Ebola uh, of a few years ago, and uh, we analyzed what happened and uh, how that was being impacted uh, uh, by flights, by modern uh, transports, uh, and so on. And uh, we figured out how the telco could, uh, could help that. So we identified the relation that we want to have that is between the patients and the doctors uh, and how that communication uh, could happen. And uh, we try to build something that is uh, easily uh, replicable among uh, different countries, different geographies, and different uh, uh, telecom operators in order to build up a collaborative network that uh, a collaborative set of uh, service providers that can work uh, together to provide advanced uh, health services like uh, remote surgery, uh, video consultation across continents to support these uh, critical use cases. And this is quite a challenge, Marco, isn't it? So, so what have you achieved so far and how are things moving on? Well, we achieved quite a lot, I would say, for the time uh, that we had. We built up a complete uh, uh, intercarrier orchestration uh, platform uh, to enable uh, hybrid uh, uh, network slices, so both physical and 5G networks. We enabled uh, intercarrier assurance, meaning uh, uh, assured end-to-end -end service that goes across uh, different operators in different continents even. We enabled intercarrier billing and charging. Uh, with, uh, based, on, uh, um, based on blockchain, for example, to enable secure settlement uh, across different operators. And we also discussed the whole business model that goes around it to make it uh, possibly a real uh, implementation. Marco, thank you for your time. Thank you.